Hello and welcome to Office. I'm your best friend Cake and today I'm going to take you on a wardrobe tour of all of my tartan pieces. Tartan, plaid, gingham, check, houndstooth to a degree. These are all terms that are used interchangeably, incorrectly. A tradition I plan on upholding today. I think it's safe to say these are all plaids. Some of these are sold with tartan in the description. Does that mean they are officially tartan? I don't know. Tartan has been popping off lately, at least for me. It can be traced back to the Queen is Dead event, which looked so cool. It makes me want to travel for EGL events. That's something I wish I had done more of. Anyway, I've always really liked tartan. I've had limited pieces though, and I usually avoided red. It's such a long story, me and the color red. Remember I did have that one red tartan OP from Angelic Pretty. If I'm feeling enterprising during the edit, I'll put a picture of it there. I sold it because Angelic Pretty OPs just don't fit me. And I'm not convinced like Angelic Pretty fits me at all. We'll talk about it. Yeah, I've been adding a lot of red plaid tartan to my wardrobe lately, but I've not actually worn any of it out of the house. So today will be great. We can look at all of my stuff and I can start figuring out how I incorporate this into my wardrobe in a way that feels like me. First, this blouse. It's moitié. Moitié. Google says moitié. This skirt is not EGL, it's from a local brand I really like. Wait, did I show you this already? It's from a Bronze Age? Anyway, it's check. It's black. It's cute. Dress one, an oldie but a goodie. Alice's Mirage in Paradox. Baby the Star Shine Bright. You've seen this one before in my Alice print wardrobe tour, but I still have it because I still like it. Because it is plaid, because it has buttons, and because it is Alice themed. But also because now I really like chess themed things because every day someone needs to tell me I look like Anya Taylor Joy or I'll die. And so if I have a chess theme, it really gives them that opening. My service to you. Wearing this with a white blouse is so challenging for me because it's such a sweet, look and I'm like so goth obviously but over the past few years I've convinced myself that goth is what's inside and just by looking at me you're like that's a black soul in there that's a heart that knows sorrow this also comes with uh, this collar that you can put on I don't think it's meant to be paired with this style of blouse I think it's, it's meant to sit over the jumper skirt and just add, add that little bit of extra something but <laughs> Can I wear it as a second color? Is that weird? Probably. That's not, you're not supposed to. But who's gonna stop me? I kinda like it. I kinda feel like a little clown. Just another example of what makes me so goth. I don't care what I do, thanks. I like it. Obviously I'll wear tie the butt. Is that a spider? Oh. Contrary to what I just said about being goth, I just don't think spiders are good. I feel like I could wear this out with a tough enough shoe if I put on like a chonky boot, I would feel comfortable. Or if I switched the blouse to black. <laughs> if I switched the blouse to black, we would have no issue. I'd just head outside. It would be completely fine. Yeah, a white blouse is just, it's just a challenge for me. Perhaps least challenging, like singular, most staple wardrobe staple. I'm like, <laughs> that's hard to style. No, objectively it looks good. Cool. This is my first plaid piece. This is Angela Pretty's lovely tartan jumper skirt. And it's, I love it. Listen, you've met my beloved teddy bear before. This is what she looked like in her heyday. She's wearing a red tartan dress, an adorable little white apron. She's got the bow. This child wanted to be this bear. So I'm visiting my friend Frankie. I see this jumper skirt in their closet and I'm like, I'm like, wow, it's really, it's giving my treasured teddy bear. The fit is weird. <laughs> The fit's so weird. The back is totally shared. Sheared? Shearing? You know what I mean. But like somehow still the front, like it's, I think, but why would, do boobs, are they down here usually? The fit's weird. And also this one's a little bit harder to look off in. Not impossible. I think if you took it like a little old school with your accessories, wait, I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, I mean this for me, for me, it makes it too cute. But again, I think that's something that could be solved just with shit kickers, big old fucking boots. I think with proper jewelry and proper hair, maybe a little bit more smudgy eyeliner, I could wear this out. 
feel very goth and very comfortable. But yeah, just the fit's weird. Wait, fold it? Is that, is it making, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not wearing this outside right now. And I'm certainly never getting rid of it because Frankie and I will match now. It came as a set with its own blouse and a, oh, and a headbow, headband we gotta talk about. First I wanna talk about the blouse, super quick. Um, it technically fits me. I just like pretty blouses are kind of hard on me because I'm so broad shouldered. This one does have a lot of shirring in the back though. It's just the sleeves are maybe like a little, a little too short. I don't know. I wanted to maintain it as a set. So, uh, here's this. Now you know. Okay, this is the head bow, headband that it came with. It's one of these ones where it like attaches around, but I've got such a strangely shaped head that like, wait, is this actually working now? No, it's weird. I don't wanna mess up my hair too much or I'm gonna look silly for the rest of the video. How do people wear these? It's so odd. <laughs> I look like Rambo. Um, yeah, if you could tell me, it's just because I have really thin hair and like a kind of really long, narrow head that it looks so weird on me. Like, if I had like a bunch of hair volume, would that be fixing it? Uh, anyway, thanks. Thanks for your help. I wanna, I wanna maybe wear it, but I don't want to look like that. This set by Distant Melody is much easier to look off in. And it's just so comfortable. Oh, I should have shown you. The Angelic Pretty Tartan Plaid is red with blue, like a little hints of green and yellow, but like the key takeaway is it's, it's more red with that lovely blue color running through it. Distant Melody is more red and green. Still got the blue and the yellow and the cream, but the eye picks up on the red and green first. And yeah, it comes as separates, which I really like. A, it helps you style the skirt different ways. You can use the camisole to add a little bit of punk to other skirts. Usually they make these with the shearing going across the bust but I've found with other shirts I have I just don't like the way it feels so I asked them to make this one a little bit different but if you can even do like a, like a little you know a little piecey piece it's cute it's a little baby this one's such a nice soft flannel material Ooh, I want to try a jacket yeah yeah, yeah 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 I like this I like this this is with the hair it's giving frazzled English woman which I really like because I was feeling honestly I was feeling a little Christmassy and that's just something I'm gonna have to figure out on my own how how to style it so I feel goth punk cool kid, not Christmas teddy bear. Although sometimes I do want to be a Christmas teddy bear. Anyway, yes, this is, is it not? It is. It's also vaguely Queen of Heartsy. And Queens are chess pieces. Queen's Gambit was a movie starring Anna Taylor-Joy. Yeah, this slaps, this slaps. I could even do like a cute shoe. I could do like the cute pot melty shoes in the black. Uh, jacket is by Shrimps. I love Shrimps. I have another Shrimps jacket. Mixing pink and red is illegal, but it's just demonstrative purposes. This one's like a little small on me now. I like can fit into a size eight, uh, eight UK, but I like prefer a 12, but it doesn't matter. I will never get rid of this. I got this coat while shopping with my friend Lydia, so it's best, best memories. And also like, why would you ever get rid of a fuzzy coat? Just wear it open. Wear it open. Don't try to do anything with your arms. Just be cool. Not a fully flushed out look for demonstrative purposes only because this is white and the checkerboard is cream. Just seeing how I could use the cami separately to add a little bit more Vivian Westwood, a little bit of punk to another look. And this just happens to be a chessboard. I just don't think you've seen this skirt before. I thought it'd be fun to show you this skirt show you uh, me next to a chessboard. It's a lot of patterns. Is that goth? Is it punk? I actually, I like the way the red pulls out the kind of brown stripes that are on this. I went so back and forth on getting this skirt. I really liked the jumper skirt version too. There's like a big heart. But I thought I would just get more use out of the skirt be able to wear it more places, more eyes on it and my face at the same time. But yeah, mixing cream and white is just wild. I would find either a black or a cream blouse. What would more likely work for me though would be a solid bottom, a little applique. Applique is fine though. But again, the trim on this is cream and this is white and that's ridiculous. Here, I'm gonna take it out of the equation with that. This is cute. I especially like 
the velvet with the plaid and like the flannel. This is cute. I can wear red. I can wear red. Okay, next. Now for a totally different skirt. It could be little frilly little suspenders if you want. Just objectively cute. Again, this is a really soft flannel-y fabric. It has a little Christmas bear. And I don't need to be wearing it this high-waisted. I could definitely wear it. I could definitely wear it just down on my waist. This one has a true white lace ribbon, or ribbon, well, it's a ribbon of lace. Anyway, it's white, so I'm wearing it with white. It's cute. I like it. And what's really neat about it is it's very similar to my wirehead cami. The skirt's more flannelly, but in terms of the color, they're both rocking the same kind of red with the blue being the most standout color and then the yellow. So even though I bought this cami to do separates with, it pairs really nicely with this, which is really nice because it has a true white ribbon lace on it too. And what's nice about the wirehead ones is that the straps have little ties on them, which adds an extra layer of cuteness. Bows, 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 bows. These ones come without any shirring on the bust. Slightly more milkmaidy look on this one. To me, because of the white, it is more Christmassy. But like, you know, wear some tough jewelry, style your hair, like you don't care. Add a bit more gunk around here is goth. Or like swap the blouse for a turtleneck. A black turtleneck? That's my solution to everything. Nothing is as goth as a black turtleneck. That's it. Those are all my tartan plaid gingham check pieces. I thought it might be funny to incite a riot and show you a hound's tooth one I have, but I have shown it before. And also I want to be converting this into a skirt. I keep on every year. I'm like, I'm gonna turn that into a skirt. And then I think of a billion things I'd rather do, but I will turn it into a skirt or I'll pay someone to turn it into a skirt. Thank you for experimenting with me and my wardrobe, for helping me find the upper and lower limits of definitely being goth the whole time. I hope you're having a wonderful autumn season and I will see you again after not too long. Bye!